saving Twitch is what a lot of streamers have been saying lately. But is it really worth dropping everything you've worked so hard building up on one platform and moving on to another? Let's take a closer look at the difference between Twitch and YouTube for a content creator. I was originally going to post this video on my second channel called Extra Dose of Mari, but this whole debate between YouTube and Twitch has been such a hot topic that I wanted to bring attention to this on my main channel since I have experience in streaming on both platforms and I kind of wanted to use this as a way to let you know I make videos like these on my other channel, so go check that out or else you'll never see this VTuber again. Anyways, a lot of people constantly compare how Twitch is miles ahead of YouTube in the features it offers, but does it really? What are the pros to YouTube? Let's see here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everyone gets a 70-30 cut. They're, you know, um, totally not throwing shade at Twitch right now or anything. There is a much better VOD system, which is amazing, considering after you're done live streaming, anyone can just kind of see your VOD and you're still making ad revenue from that. Also, YouTube has a long history and it's much more established, so it's probably gonna be around a lot longer, considering, yes, it is owned by Google and YouTube has just been around for so long. Who remembers the old days of YouTube? <laughs> God, those were, that was a time. That was definitely a time. Lastly, there is monetization on YouTube Shorts. Now this is a brand new feature. That's right, old school YouTube is starting to get all caught up with the kids nowadays on TikTok. And it's really important that this is happening because TikTok is the most dominating platform for short vertical style videos and well they weren't monetizing or really paying their creators that well so YouTube doing this is like a huge deal especially since a lot of people really like short form content and shorts are a great way to garner new views and subscribers to a YouTube channel honestly I've seen some channels who probably would have struggled if they just made their original videos but have garnered so many subscribers just off of shorts. And then there are dedicated shorts channels that are incredibly successful. Now, let's go to the cons of YouTube. <laughs> That's right, I know, YouTube sounds like it's so glorified and amazing but actually there are a lot of really annoying things that you have to deal as a YouTuber. One of them is being no prime. That's right. There is no free little rebates. Different ways that you can just get free money. Although, it would be really cool if maybe YouTube Premium might be something in the future, you know. <clears throat> Come on, YouTube, get on this already. What's taking you so long? Another thing is that it, um... <laughs> randomly demonetizes videos and entire channels. Yes, that's right. You could just be minding your own business making your favorite YouTube content and then out of nowhere, BAM! Your entire channel is demonetized. You're getting copyright strikes left and right out of nowhere. All because the automated bot system said beep boop bop hippity hoppity get the heck off my property. No more monetization for you. Mm -hmm. It's actually a huge struggle that a lot of creators deal with all the time. Like my friend Strop has been dealing with over a month now of her ASMR content just getting demonetized. And they took away monetization from her entire channel for no reason. And the problem is, is that since a lot of this stuff is automated, there is no human who is looking at your channel. And even I had a problem with this at one point. To get this channel monetized took me three months because my channel, for whatever reason, had some really weird glitch in it. And no matter how hard I tried spamming on Twitter to get some kind of human to look at my channel to help fix it, YouTube just uh, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing behind headquarters, but they needed to get their head out of their booty cheeks to look at my channel so I could finally get monetized. So yes, there was an entire three months where I had a lot of views that I never got paid for because I just suck, I guess. I don't know. It was for whatever reason. And we all know I wasn't making anything special, just my tutorials, you know. <laughs> oh God, those days. 
Anyways, yes, YouTube does have its own fair share of difficulties that is incredibly annoying. If you were to check out my other video, the Try Not To Get Age Restricted Challenge, that is a whole other issue on YouTube where things just get age restricted and you just don't make money from it. And it's incredibly hard to make money as a YouTuber in general. Now, this is kind of where the pros on Twitch start to come in because, well, it's actually a lot easier to get monetization on Twitch. It is incredibly easy to get to an affiliate status where you can receive subscribers and people are just more likely to donate on your channel. I don't know what it is about Twitch, but there is this whole culture of just people throwing money at you. It's just something that I've noticed and yeah, it's just a lot easier to make money on Twitch than it is to YouTube. Also, the UI on Twitch is so, so, so pretty. Like, I don't know. There's just something about that black and purple aesthetic that just looks so nice to look at. It's easy on the eyes. And it's overall just an aesthetically pleasing product to look at. And this goes for both streamers and viewers. It, it's just so nice. And it feels comfy, and it's very easy to navigate. Unlike YouTube Live, where uh, it looks like this. <laughs> Another thing is, is that whole Twitch Prime, where you know Amazon's like, hey, if you uh have Amazon Prime, you can get one free Twitch Prime sub to your favorite streamer Mariume, and I just get free money. It doesn't cost you anything. And we all know I like that free money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I do. I do. Everything's better when it's free, right? Anyways, I just think that that's a really amazing feature that Twitch has. You know, they basically just give you free money. And, well, I hope this feature lasts for a long time. I got a little nervous since this whole, like, Twitch cutting their top streamers payout to 50-50 instead of the 70-30 split made me kind of nervous about where the future of... Twitch Prime is gonna go because in that article they mentioned how expensive Twitch Prime subs are to maintain so I really hope they don't get rid of that. Now on that topic some of the cons of Twitch are the VODs. They get deleted after 60 days and you don't get AdSense revenue from people watching the VOD like you do on YouTube so it kind of makes you wonder what the heck is the point of watching a VOD on Twitch? It's not even discoverable. It's not like, you know, you'll just get recommended somebody's VOD like you would potentially on YouTube. And there's just really not a lot of recommendations on Twitch in general. They've gotten a little bit better at it, but it's still just garbage. You're usually just being shown what the most popular streamer is doing. Another thing that I've kind of noticed about Twitch is that it has had multiple brand identity changes. You know, going from Justin TV to Twitch. Overall, it's still a very new platform in the content creation scene, whereas, again, YouTube's been long and established and it's had many years to make mistakes and grow and to learn from. Still trying to learn and grow from those mistakes, but Twitch, oh boy, Twitch is dealing with that same issues that kind of like what YouTube had during the adpocalypse, if you remember that a few years ago. The other thing I would like to point out about these two platforms is how people typically grow or become successful on them. On Twitch, you usually have to stream for a really long time in order to grow, which is not good when you're starting out. Because, well, think of it this way. If you're streaming to zero viewers, then nothing is going to change streaming eight hours to zero viewers. You have to work your butt off and, you know, post on other social media just to grow on Twitch. And the crazy thing is, one of them is being on YouTube to bring people into your stream. And then you have to stream really long hours to try to incentivize them to start donating and subscribing to your channel. It is insane how backwards it is to grow on these platforms. However, streaming on YouTube doesn't work like that at all. Since there aren't any, you know, categories to browse through your streams. Also, you typically don't get recommended live streams on your homepage unless if you're either subscribed to that person's channel that's live streaming or if you have really amazing viewer retention, then maybe 
maybe YouTube will throw you a bone and recommend it to other people, but it doesn't happen that often. And that's because live streaming just isn't YouTube's main focus. It's just a secondary feature that you can use to make content on your channel. And even if your live stream popped up on someone's homepage, you need to create this sense of urgency to get someone even to click on it and to watch it. And I know this because I have struggled a lot when trying to get people to watch my YouTube streams because the titles and thumbnails just weren't interesting enough. What, I'm just not good enough for you, huh? Is that what it is? Is that why? I know you're watching this video. Why don't you ever come into my live streams on YouTube? I wanna be a YouTube live streamer. What's wrong with, I just, just tell me what it is. Tell me what I gotta do. Who do I gotta kidnap? Who do I gotta, I, I mean, <clears throat> Uh, just, just give me some suggestions in the comments if you're down below on what I could do to make my live streams more interesting, please and thank you. Anyways, it's a lot easier to get people to watch your stream on Twitch and that's kind of why I have a much higher viewership because the people who follow me on Twitch, they know that they're going to be tuning into my live stream since, well... That's really all you can do on Twitch. There's no point in making anything else. Like, I know they have a clips feature. You could, like, upload videos on Twitch. But I don't get any ad revenue from that Twitch. I don't. I don't see the point of that. It is so stupid and pointless. And, 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 just, it's dumb. It's a baka thing to do. And not only that, for whatever reason, you are not discoverable on Twitch. It's not like I could just Google something and then, whoop, look at that, my stream popped up. No, it, it doesn't work like that. Whereas you could Google something and maybe your, you know, YouTube video might pop up and then, hey, look, they see that you stream on YouTube. Oh, that's kind of nifty. But again, it's not guaranteed that they're even gonna watch the stream. So, yeah. In all honesty, I prefer streaming on YouTube despite its clunkiness, but I still haven't figured out a way to properly stream and to make the most on this platform. I've only been on YouTube for a little over a year now, and, um, um, I have been a Twitch streamer for five years now. I personally really don't like Twitch, and it's kind of why I've never pushed to become a partner. The entire culture around being a Twitch streamer has almost been the reason why I stopped being a content creator altogether. I don't know, I just, I'm not a streamer. I don't view myself as a live streamer. I have more value in myself being a content creator, not a streamer. However, with that being said, one thing I really like about Twitch is the community. The community on Twitch is like no other. And the friends and memories I have made along the way by being a Twitch streamer is something that I will never forget about because there is no way that I would have made the same friends by being just a YouTuber. Actually, I don't think any of the friends I have made are from YouTube. All of the friends I have made have either been through raids on Twitch or, you know, talking to people on Twitter. So, say what you want about each platform. They both have their own separate issues and I know the grass always looks greener on the other side, but in general, it is really difficult to convert people from one platform to another since most people don't like change. And if you are gonna change something, you should probably only change about 3% of it. Otherwise, it's too much and they don't like it. So if you want to actually switch to YouTube, then make sure you're doing it because you genuinely want to be a YouTuber and not just because you're upset with Twitch. I swear, it feels like a lot of people are treating this like they just had a bad argument with their significant other and they're saying things that they didn't mean in the heat of the moment. Yeah, so don't do that. Make sure that if this is what you want to do, then you're doing it because it will be better for your content creation career overall. And with that being said, let me know what your reasoning is on why you either want to stay on Twitch or if you want to become a YouTuber. Or you know, if you're a viewer watching this, let me know what you like about YouTube live streaming or what you like about Twitch live streaming. Right now, I think I will continue to stream on Twitch until I can figure out a way to make my YouTube streams more enjoyable for you. So, um, better start tuning into those. And I'm gonna try my best. Although, I still kinda like being a React Andy on Twitch sometimes and I can't really do that on YouTube because, I don't know, Susan will spank me. But I'm kind of okay with that. I like 
like to just give a special thank you to everybody who subscribed to this channel because your support really helps motivate me to always want to make amazing content for all of you. Also, I'd like to give a special thank you to all of my Patreons for helping keeping my editors fed and their bills paid, as well as a special thank you to Ali for editing this video in such a short time frame. Let me know if this kind of videos are something that you would be interested in me making more of in the future. Anyways, I'll see you all again in my next video or live stream on Twitch. Okay, bye!